shoot. So I'm heading out to another book signing. I'm so excited. This time it's gonna be five authors, so it's kind of gonna be like a panel. Rachel Hawking is gonna be there, and also Sabata here is gonna be there, and I don't have anything for her to sign, but I think I'm gonna try to talk to her anyway because I freaking loved An Ember in the Ashes. The other authors who are coming are Allison Goodman, who is promoting Dark Days Club. Rebel of the Sands is also being promoted. The other author is like April 2, I, I can't say her name, but she's promoting Wink Poppy Midnight and she's actually the author of like the Iona series or something like that. Ideas, and we're like, I don't know, but anyway, but let me talk let's to you about Starbucks. Let's get back to Starbucks. Yeah, back to the important things in life. I got like, like I got it with a V. I got Vachel, which, which like Vachel Lindsay was like poet or something. So I guess like that. I've also gotten Ray Check a lot, like, but I think that's just a typo. I think like they put it wrong on the receipt, then they just write it on the cup, like Ray Check. It sounds like a demon. <laughs> you summoned Ray Check with this triple grande. <laughs> to try to spell Olwen and then I gave up and so I thought I'd go with abbreviation and I'd go Ally because I do have some friends who call me that um, spelled double L-Y like Ally Carter um, and then they, but they'd always spell it A-L-I and then they'd call it Ali yeah, yeah. Um, and there's it's really weird to me that like you know what's like a Christmas book to me it's Game of Thrones I really feel like something about the spirit of the season and sort of a villain, but, well, definitely a villain to start with, but I'm gonna go Prince Zuko from Avatar The Last Airbender. Yeah. <laughs> now I was just starting to talk about this way. I'm going through cycles. Like, I was talking more about Alana than about my own book at the beginning of tour, and now I'm talking more about Avatar than my own book. It was me when I was little and I watched Labyrinth, and I was like, why do you need to get your brother? Can't you just stay there? That seems pretty sweet. Look at your dress. That's so pretty. I'm a terrible human, apparently. I would've been like, he can be a goblin. He'll be fine. Look at my ball gown. <laughs> Oh yeah. No. I, 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 me, I do. I know it really well. I was like, oh my shine. It might be. Has anyone actually oh seen God, it no. in person? Neither have I. And my last name is Hamilton. And my dad's <laughs> middle name is Alexander. And my mother's middle name is Eliza. And I wrote a book about rebellion. And I don't understand why no one has offered me free. Someone actually asked her on tour, did you change your last name to Hamilton because of Hamilton? Like Hamilton had never been a name. It took a long time to understand what I was being asked. <laughs> Because I was like, no, it's. A, I mean, it's a pretty common last name. Yeah. Familiar as a person yeah. who read like a very early draft of my second book and was like, this is a line from Hamilton. I was like, I've never seen that. She's like, well, you plagiarized it accidentally. Yeah. <laughs> like outgunned, out man, something like that yeah. was like in the second book. Oh, God. <laughs> satisfied. Oh, <gasps> yeah. It's um, why and and I can even give a reason why satisfied is so great is because not only is it a beautiful song and the and whatever her name is, uh, Renee. Renee Elise Goldberg sings the heck out of it. And I was like, not only is it, I'm like getting chills like talking about it because I think it's so great, but it's such good storytelling too because not only is it just a beautiful song, but now the song that came before it that's so happy and helpless, that's the name of that one, where they fall in love, suddenly has this darker cast and suddenly we understand that things are so much more complicated and that they're always going to now be complicated because these three people all love each other, no one wants to hurt anyone and they all love in different ways. And, uh, and I'm a sucker for that. Like, that's how you do a love triangle, when everybody's, like, connected and everybody cares about everybody else. So that's why. So I, you see, I turned it into a writing question. April said to me yesterday, because <laughs> these, these two gave me medication when I couldn't talk yesterday, and then April said to me yesterday, when I drug you all when you won't even know. <laughs> I feel like that would be ironic, because you and I were going to plan a murder around the fireplace if I was one of the, the one who got murdered. <laughs> yeah, we thought that would be a fun team-building exercise in one of our hotels. Like, what if we're going to meet down here and plan a murder? And our publicist was like, ah, fictional one, right? We're, like, we're like, totally. <laughs> That's what we meant from the Whatever beginning. Whatever helps you sleep at night, at least. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh, please, I would. Um, I mean, sorry, Mysterious Galaxy. I'm gonna like come to bookstores and I'm just gonna clear off the shelves. It's gonna be, it's gonna be brutal, but like that's what I'm gonna go for. Yeah. I think I'd raid a weapon store. Ooh, nice. Yeah, because then I could like continue with my crimes <laughs> because I would have all these weapons and I would like I would like have a little mini militia and I would arm them all and we would go and. 
and just like rain out. Like, when you say, a little bloodthirsty. Okay. When yeah. you say mini militia, yeah. would they be children? I like, are they yeah. <laughs> <laughs> six year old or four year old? So and you're like, right, you take the AK 47, you take exactly. the baseball bat, let's go. <laughs> they're low to the ground. Yeah, exactly. exactly. They, they, they can go for the kneecaps. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're going to take the out the kneecaps. Power of surprise, as Eddie yeah. is very, very So important. I'm joining your militia. Thank you. Yeah. 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 We'll be her backup, girl yeah. gang. Yeah. 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 I want to follow someone. I'll yeah. follow you. Thank you. I will lead you, I will lead you to, to crime and, and violence. I'm sorry for the lighting, but like I had to like get the mirror light on because it's so dark. So I just got out of the sighting and I had the most amazing time. I got to meet um, the author of The Revel of the Sands and she is amazing. I grew up in France, so that's so cool. And then um, I was telling her how I grew up in Italy and then she was talking about how like she doesn't know much Italian. She actually spoke to me a little bit in Italian and I was like kind of like impressed with her like pronunciation because like whenever um, people try to talk in Italian it's so bad but hers was like decent I was like oh okay you got a little bit of it and then she was talking about how like the only Italian you really need to know is like posso avere which means can I have point to food I also got to talk to Salva Tahir and oh my god Salva Tahir is amazing I got to talk to Rachel Hawking, which she was the person I was mostly there for. And oh my god, I am dead. Rachel Hawking said me and her are soulmates. I am dead. Rest in peace, me. And oh my god, Rachel Hawking is a hoovian. We went to take a picture. I, I took a picture with Rachel Hawking. And my screensaver on my iPad is the TARDIS. And she's like, I see your TARDIS. I am a hoovian too. Hoovians unite. And I even asked her if she was in Phantom of the Opera. She actually does love Phantom of the Opera. She's like, I totally ship. I totally ship the Phantom and Christine. I'm like, same, I will go down with this ship. The of the Dark Days Club is Australian. I totally did not know that. And then she starts talking, I'm like, oh, accent. I feel bad because I didn't talk to the last author, April. I, I didn't even know what her books are about. And I just felt bad just going up to be like, hi, I don't know your books. But like you seem cool. This person that was like running the panel that she worked there and stuff, and she asked him like a Hamilton question. And Rachel Hawkins was like the only one who was into Hamilton, and her favorite song is Satisfied. I am dead. Oh my god, Hamilton is life. Basically, Rachel Hawkins and I, we have so much in common. We're totally soulmates, like she said. Hello, so I'm back from the signing and I'm using my sister as a selfie stick. I wanted to show you all my swag. I got so much swag, I got all the swag, the swag delicious. I got this beautiful bookmark of the ember in the ashes, also signed by Savata here. And I also got this beautiful fan signed by Allison Goodman from the Dark Days Club. A Lady Renegade bookmark signed by Rachel Hawking. Two bookmarks from um, the Rebel of the Sands author. One of them is actually personalized to me. It's so pretty, I love it. I can't wait to read this, like she is amazing. And then the other one is just signed by her. And there's also this I didn't even notice. It's like a sharpshooter with a dreamer and it's just a damn good liar. I was only able to get two books signed because I just really wanted to get Rachel Hawking's book signed. She's like one of my favorite authors of all time. So I got Rebel Bell and Miss Hay Mayhem signed by her. And she wrote in, in Rebel Bell, she put Rebel and then she signed it. And then in Miss Mayhem, she put love mayhem so that's all the swag all the things i got from the signing and i had such an amazing time this is definitely one of my favorite signings i have ever been to up there with like leigh bardugo jake herself and amy coffins and i can't believe that one of my favorite authors of all time Rika cho hawkins called me her soulmate i hope you enjoyed this vlog so comment below if you read any of these books if you met any of these authors and any bookish events you have been to au revoir